we think that really Congress and the FCC have been completely hands off in this deal and that it, it shouldn't be treated like a slam dunk, that we need to look at all of what Mr. Murdoch owns. You know, there's no law in the book right now that says that Rupert Murdoch can't own TV stations and movie studios and all of his newspapers and this Wall Street and the Wall Street Journal. But there are some smart policies that we already have that say that one company shouldn't be allowed to own the newspaper and a television station in the same market, although Mr. Murdoch's doing that as well. In some markets, he has these waivers that he's gotten from the Federal Communications Commission. We think Congress, first of all, should just have hearings, should ask the public. Let's, let's start an inquiry and say, well, what do you think? Do you think this much media power should rest with one company and one man? We think that the vast majority of Americans probably don't think so that they'd like to have a little bit more variety, that they'd like to know that, you know, maybe the guy calling the shots at Fox News isn't also dictating what's on the front page of the Wall Street Journal and deciding what movies are coming out next spring and running 175 other newspapers all across the world, all of which had the exact same editorial stance when it came to the war in Iraq. You know, we think we benefit from more variety of ownership, but we don't have that here. But the first step is just let's start having a public conversation about it. Instead of all of these media policy decisions being made behind closed doors, being made at stockholders meetings, we need to start having a public conversation. Who should own the media and how much of it they should they be allowed to own? You know, what should the future of the internet look like? That's a conversation that all citizens should participate in, not just those who've been lucky enough to go to law school or inherit, inherit a big media company uh, from their forefathers who own the Wall Street Journal. You know, that's something we should all participate in because we all rely on the media to hold our leaders accountable, to give us the information we need to, you know, be citizens and uh, participate in our democracy.